right here we are in a beautiful Beverly Hills California morning looking at a very sweet 1953 Volkswagen Resto Mod incredibly well done car we're gonna walk around and tell you what we see over the years I've done several Volkswagens but this one just is just sweet um, very nicely done it's almost got a lot of cues to it like it was built in Europe or restored in Europe and brought here the level of detail on this car is just shocking it's finished in a uh, gunmetal style gray it's just a solid kind of a dark gray um, I don't know if that's a factory color or that type of thing Volkswagen guys will be able to tell me that a lot of Zwitter cues to it it's not a Zwitter there's conversions that has been done to it that we can tell as we walk around we're gonna tell you what we see um, we don't want to confuse it as a Zwitter however anybody that looks at it's gonna think it's one uh, beautifully done title it as a 53 it has uh, pop-out windows here on the back and as I go around I want to cover that's where some of the German cues come from because it's got German glass that was installed all the way throughout the car. The semi-fours are fully functional. It's been converted to 12 volts. As we walk around, we're gonna cover stuff. The body and paint on this car is absolute show quality. It has about 1,700 miles on it. It sits just right. It's sitting on Porsche wheels. It has four-wheel disc brakes. We get around, we'll talk about more about the other stuff. I know you wanna know what's under the hood of it too. It has a... Uh, uh, three-fold but it's it, it's a two-fold roof that looks like a three-fold because of the uh, squared corners on it antenna here underneath the bonnet when we get under the bonnet here we're gonna after we get around done the walk around here I'm gonna take you underneath the front first to really share the level of quality and the cloth wiring that's done on this car it has uh, Porsche headlamps in it it has uh, that's where the Zwitter's cues come in from. It has 53 and earlier style uh, uh, split bumpers on it. Split bumper design, I guess is what they call that. You can see the finish here. It's just beautiful. The owner's with me if he needs to uh, answer any question while I'm walking around. I do a lot of different kind of cars. I don't know everything about everything, but I know enough that this is a very high quality build on this car. Again, the Porsche wheels, we're going to get inside. Underneath the, uh, the engine compartment in the back, there is a 67 912 Porsche engine that's detailed to the nines, just like the rest of the car. You'll see the square corner folding roof here. A lot of little nice little details. It does have wipers. He's taking the arms off for the look. Don't mind the little bit of dust from the tree on the top. We had a squirrel up there that was creating some havoc and shaking on the car while I was doing this earlier. Again, semaphores are fully working. All the glass in the car, like we talked about, I'll show you up here on the front wind wing, is German. All has like a factory tint or feel to it. You'll see a lot of details at Spud's Garage. We're going to go look at the file and cover what we can. Inside is a very high grade of leather. You can smell it when you open the door. A whiff of it, it's supple. It's sewed very tight and very nicely done. They are like they've reworked all the foam. It has seat belts in it. It has a German square weave carpet. We'll get around to the driver's side and cover more. Look at the door jam here. Every corner of this car is just beautiful. We'll get to the bottom side. It has an ARC audio uh, stereo system in it that's underneath the rear seat and it connects to your uh, cell phone there. See the uh, e-brake here? has a completely custom built one-off speaker grill that's had the gauges completely, their video gauges built to this car. It has 1,792 miles on it. We'll get you the headliner here or the roof panel. This is all done in a perforated leather. It's not a vinyl. You can see the lights, uh, dome lights are working on it. We'll flip the seat up. There's a battery tender cable there on the floor. Also, if you notice at the back window here, typically they would have upholstered those all the way to the back um, or covered them. And it's nice that it's finished body color like that just incredible
jam to jam. Very special uh, 53. These uh, door handles here are split handles. A lot of detail. They put a, uh, a map pocket on, on both sides here or a little door pocket. I'm not gonna, I don't want to scratch it with my nail. I'll get my hands out. But there's a little pocket in the door for sunglasses or registrations, that kind of thing. All the pedals, I'm gonna come back in here again. I keep seeing stuff for polished pedal assembly here. You'll see the audio speakers. Again, make sure you hang on to the end of the video. If you want to see a really cool built 53, nicely done resto mod. You will draw crowds at any Volkswagen event or almost any car show with this beauty. Runs and drives, there's absolutely no issues with it. Has uh, uh, 53 and earlier hard tail lights on it. Again, split bumper design in the rear. Has a removable rear panel here so you can get the engine out. Stainless exhaust on it. It has a uh, convertible rear deck lid which gives you additional vents and cooling in the back here. The back window here has a, a Zwitter aluminum trim on the split. A lot of neat stuff on this car. I'm sure there's going to be the Volkswagen guy that sees more than I see. Again, the hard taillights. A lot, again, stainless hardware. You'll see a lot of little stainless hardware cues throughout this as we do the walk around here. Sick. Fun car. It even has little stainless caps on the hinge, on the hinge pins here. Again, the German glass in it. Have I missed anything yet, Paige? Trunk, the oh, the trunk handle. I want to cover the trunk handle. That's uh, specific to the yeah the engine handle for access. You'll see the finish. These pop-out rear windows. The finish all the way through this car is just uh, again. Custom weather strips we'll show you on the uh, deck lead. If I can get my finger in it on this side. I had it. I don't want to put a mark on it, it just opens up. I'm trying to hold a camera at the same time. It has a convertible locking uh, uh, bonnet release for the front. Again, I told you about the pedals, the square weave carpet has a uh, nice uh, period style seat belts in it, front and rear. Turn signal semaphores are all fully functional, it's all 12 volt. Got a nardy kind of look steering wheel to it, is what I'd call that. Tachometer in the center here. But this is a custom made speaker grill with video gauges in it. Now again, hang on till I get to the back of the, uh, or to the front end here and cover the engine compartment up, or the uh, front bonnet up next. Very sweet, very, very sweet. All right, I'm gonna hop out of here. Bye, Jen. Pardon my camera moving around there, but I'm pretty tall getting out of there is a little tougher for me. Give you one more good sweet look at the interior. Tell you to get in and certainly if you're interested you want to hang on to the end of the video. Okay. Getting the lights for you here. Okay. All right, we've opened up the uh, two-fold roof with the three-fold look. Anyway, uh, you'll see the two-fold there, but we really wanted to give you some time and uh, to study the structure here of the sunroof uh, or the opening. And again, it's all a uh, perforated leather. That's not a vinyl here. This is leather fitted. We'll go over to the other side and kind of cover the uh, walk around with it thoroughly so you guys get a good look at it. Along 
the drip rails and then you'll see the uh, front here all right we'll get you in the front end here we're gonna spend some time in here and cover this for you the level of detail I told you during the walk around that I really wanted you to study as I get closer throughout this video to watch some of the stuff and look at it the cloth wiring let's cover the VIN first it's titled as a 1953 Volkswagen we've taken pictures of that and it said Spud's garage a lot if not the hardware on this and the level of detail is just unbelievable a lot of stainless fasteners were used throughout you'll see all the stainless hardware on the front here but the main thing is is you really want to look at the wiring on this it's just beautiful all cloth covered wiring we're going to get up to the harness here in a minute the well here up front the spare well is very nice level of finish is the same throughout i would call this show we're going to get up here to the fun part here the fuel tank looks like it's been powder coated the hood is really snug you know these are typically pretty loose kind of floppy when you open them this one's not that way we're going to carry on here and show you it's got uh, gas shocks on the front hood here you look at the wiring they up into the corners here the uh, door jam or the dome light switch right down there again stainless nylock nut fasteners throughout here you'll see the cloth wiring again the finish here is just as nice as the rest of the car I mean somebody spent a lot of time taking a look at the connectors there it's got a VDO fuel fin uh, sender in it they've totally reworked the dash we talked about that on the inside one-off custom dash and this is just incredible but look at that wiring here cloth wiring zip ties every inch or so wipers are fully functional the arms are off the car I think you get the idea you'll see the stainless fasteners that we talked about throughout here stainless fasteners that hold the hood all Allen stainless we think you get the idea in here I told you I was gonna spend some time you can pause and study areas if you like bottom side very cool all right we'll get you in the engine compartment here we're gonna cover a little spot here we just finished up on the uh, front trunk compartment for you or the fuel tank compartment we didn't cover the weather strip the weather the weather strip is installed on this car just the opposite of what it normally be it was installed typically installed on or around the belt and then it shut it down shut down on it but it has weather stripping on the bottom side of the forward bonnet lid and the bottom side here a lot of time spent on that we'll cover the engine in just a second here it has a removable panel here on the back for access to take the engine out and do work on it there's also some access panels for the carburetors from what I see for working on the carbs from the wheel wells if you had it up on a lift you could access the carburetors and and get them on and off and adjust the jets if you wanted I'm going to show you up in here they're like a carbon fiber panel that's removable we'll actually show you that on the undercarriage too the level of detail it's a 1967 uh, 912 Porsche engine in here uh, We've actually, the owner's actually decoded the engine number. We'll stop there so you can pause it if you like. But the level of detail throughout this car is just shocking. Incredible. Wiring, the cloth wiring carries all the way to the back here. Weber carbs. Are oh, those a Solex? See the cloth wiring here, up into here, the wiring, the components that are handled here. Has a uh, Porsche tag on the top of the uh, cooler housing or blower housing, whatever you'd like to call it. Beautiful.
the exhaust I mentioned it while the engine was running earlier in the video but they've cut it off nice and short here and if you really take a look at it it's a stainless a brush stainless the exhaust is really high-end custom built on this 912 67 912 engine the bottom side of the car is all finished in a uh, rock protective coating and then finished in body color see the uh, exhaust system here we're gonna cover as much as we can as we go around here has uh, Porsche wheels on it has four-wheel disc brakes there are 205 65 15 continental tires on the rear here I know the lights coming in a little odd there but you'll see as we get to the other side it'll, it'll lighten up a little bit better for you Tricking out the camera. You'll see the coating and then the uh, body color finish on the aprons. Um, I wanted to show you here, I'm going to wander back to the back again because I'm going to show you on both sides there's some carbon access panels to get to the air filters. You can see them right there and again the cloth wiring. Wander back up front here. See how straight it is? The uh, Porsche wheels again has uh, tires on the front are 135 R15. See the floor pans? Up into the aprons here, suspension's all been modified. It's like polyurethane bushing style bushings on the upper. So at least this car's pretty low on the front. There's a little bit of a baby bump bump on the chin right here. <laughs> Nobody will ever see it. And you'll do it again. Horns are right here. My butt knocked off here on the road. You'll see the floor pans and the finish throughout. Man. We'll get you up into the back here too, show you the access panel. Of course the oil filter's up in there, but you can see the access panel for the carbs, carbon fiber. Anyway, we think you get the idea. Alright, he's taking it back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage.